Good morning. And uh, welcome once again to our little gathering today. Uh, we'll just wait a few more moments um, uh, for others to join in. So in the meantime, just listen to the music and just relax. I think it's just started to rain. Good morning everybody. Thank you for being here once again for our time together, our time of sharing healing for ourselves and for sending it out to others. A time of reflection, a time of calmness and peace and quiet. Excuse me a minute. Trying to keep the frog away today. So just relax and as we prepare ourselves we'll do a little bit of a meditation before we actually start sending out the healing. This is for us, for our time to be quiet and to listen. So I want you to imagine yourself walking down a country lane. The hedgerows are full of new green leaves and the banks below is the white flower of old Queen's lace scattered here and there. The birds are singing and flitting from branch to branch searching for grubs drinking the dew, dew drops from the leaves. The sun is shining and warming your back. The air is fresh, filling your lungs. As you walk along, you see a stile leading into what looks like a field. You climb over and suddenly you are in this lovely meadow full of wild flowers of every colour you can think of. Red poppies, cowslips, blue cornflowers and grasses of all varieties. Run your hands over the top of the grasses, catching them in your fingers. You feel childlike again with the wonder of this beauty. Watch the bees buzzing, buzzing from flower to flower, and the butterflies flitter all around the meadow, adding further colour to this beauty. Listen to the sounds of the slight rustling of the wind through the grass and lay down in this place of peace and calmness. And as you look up, you see a beautiful rainbow above you. Look at the colours so vivid against the sky. The divine paint palette. And with all this colour, is there one particular one that you need to concentrate on for yourself. Maybe you need more grounding. You need help with making decisions. You need to help with communicate, 
with communication. Just bring that colour into your body and around you. And stay here a while in this stillness and calm. While I say the prayer to the earth. Heavenly Father, the earth is yours and mine and the glorious sky. As you made me, so you made the starling and the owl and the glorious oak and elm. In weaving your wisdom, you formed the sea and her melodious song, harmonising with the whale and the bird. You are in me and above me. You are below me and beside me. You created worlds within worlds, gifts beyond understanding, beauty beyond measure, captured in a sphere of perfect blue. And so we bow to you and call upon the angels and spirits to give us strength that we may share in worship and wisdom this day. And let us join in mind and spirit, in prayer and love, to bring healing to this most wonderful of worlds. For when this world suffers, we suffer, for we are all as one. And now bring yourself back from the meadow into your own room as we prepare ourselves for this healing time together to send out healing to others and to have healing for ourselves. <coughs> Excuse me. In Harry Edwards' prayer. May I be thankful for all the blessings I already have. Grant me relief from pain and sickness and protect me from all ills and grant me good health in the days to come. Remove all causes of imperfection and bring your healing ministers close to me that I may be conscious of their presence and so receive guidance and inspiration. Grant me courage and fortitude to come overcome all adversity. And let me be conscious of your strength in all times of need. And grant me confidence to overcome my fears and not to anticipate harm. Teach me to live rightly in your sight and to do only that which is right and true. And I pray that good guidance and right influencing will inspire all your pupils to be as brothers one to the other and that peace shall endure for all time. Amen. We now ask for healing for our world, our country, our community, especially remembering the names of the people and animals we hold in our distant healing corridor. May they all receive healing for their highest good. And we also request healing for our own family and friends and anyone who has asked us for distant healing. And we ask healing for any of ourselves who are in need. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and so we will have our moment of collective silence and stillness as we send out this beautiful energy out into the world.
Thank you for this lovely energy going out into the world. And we give our thanks and blessings to you all for your help here today and to all our friends in spirit who are always working with us, beside us and through us. Thank you for this lovely healing time together. And don't forget if any of you or anybody you know needs healing or a chat or anything that you need help from, uh, just get in touch with the sanctuary and the girls will sort out your requests. And um, either on Zoom, on Facebook or telephone or email, whichever you'd like. <coughs> Excuse me, okay. And uh, today I've chosen um, a short passage from a, a book that I've only just received recently. It's on hope. We all have hopes and dreams and uh, they're important. They're important. And I only noticed this morning uh, at breakfast as I looked down that um, at the bottom of my sunflower it's got never give up. And I thought, well, that ties in with what we're going to say today. And the reading is from James Van Prague. I think that's how you pronounce the name. And it's uh, what spirits can teach us about life and watching over us. Very interesting book, but I came across this little passage on hope. And I hope you like it too. <laughs> hope, like faith is something intangible that cannot be measured. Hope is not wishful thinking, but a very essential ingredient of life. In fact, I don't think anyone could effectively sustain life without it. It is a natural part of our makeup. The element of hope keeps us dreaming, creating and overcoming obstacles. It is that unseen spark that motivates many of us to live a full and productive life. It is a deep down personal belief that there will be a positive outcome. Even the worst of circumstances can be overcome with a sense of hope for a better tomorrow. Hope is from the heart. It awakens us to our own truth and helps to form our unique spirituality. We must remember that each day is completely different from the next. Obstacles of the past, whether self-imposed or formed by others, may cling to us, yet inside of us resides the solution for change. Our life has a meaning. Tomorrow will not be the same as today, even if we think it will be the same, there is always something to make it different because each day is filled with the magic of hope and possibilities. We can discover a new aspect of ourselves and others that we never knew existed. I thought that was, um, it, it helped me uh, because during lockdown we've, We've said, oh, the days are the same. And when you look back, they aren't the same. Each day is going to be different. Um, maybe just something very slightly different will happen today that didn't happen tomorrow, uh, yesterday or won't happen tomorrow. And just to end uh, with, I found a little poem that I um, printed out a few years ago. On hope and hope is something special some hope is something a special something that we cannot live without we can all hope but we must not doubt we hope things will be better when everything goes wrong hope gives us what we need it helps us to be strong it keeps us going when we're tired and helps us when we fall if we hope for what we already have, then that's not hope at all. But hope for what we can't yet see is patient, calm 
and waiting. Our minds must be controlled and quiet, all painful thoughts abating. All of life has a purpose when we have something to believe. The gift of hope is a life-giving gift we hope one day to achieve. For all I am and all I have, I am grateful every day, and I know that all my hopes and dreams are right now on their way. Thank you everybody for sharing once again with us today and um, I hope you've got lots of hopes and dreams for the future and believe and they will come to fruition. Just put the music back on. Um, have we got one or two uh, notices for this coming week? Um, on Tuesday at 10.30, um, our Tara will be giving another of her lovely gong baths in the marquee at the sanctuary at 10.30. And also on Tuesday and Wednesday, Tracy and Alan will be at the regional healing, regional healing in Somerset. So if anybody uh, wants to go along to that, uh, to, I think... Um, you have to get in touch with uh, Tracy and she will help you there. And next Sunday, the 22nd, Lyndall Demir will be giving another of her inspiring guided meditations from her home in California at 7.30 in the evening. And all the details for these events are on Facebook and the website. And uh, tomorrow, we have a, a swap round tomorrow. Uh, Beth will be taking the healing minute and Tracy will ta be taking it on Tuesday from Claverham, where I think she was going to be talking about the Quakers and the Quaker house there in Claverham. So it's just a change this week. But thank you once again for being with us and sharing with us. And may you have a good week of sharing. Sorry, I just put the wrong music on then. I'll just go back to somewhere over the rainbow. Don't forget, there's always a rainbow around. Watch out for the colours and take them into your heart. And may you have a good week of sharing with each other, with your family and friends. coming. We we'll just listen to the music just for a couple of minutes. Thank you. Just see one or two people have said they like my uh, top. I thought as it's sun as it's um sunflower time I put it on today. Thank you for your compliments and thank you all for being here. My husband's sitting here laughing at me at the moment. <laughs> He's waiting for his cup of tea. <laughs> so I will say bye bye for now. God bless. And may the angels walk with you and keep you safe. Bye-bye.